You may have seen our series Hidden Gems here at CBS Chicago. We highlight some of the often unseen Chicago stars, and our streaming anchor Brad Edwards thinks he has one on us. Because it was actually hidden. It was unseen and sat in disrepair, neglected by the city, until a couple went for a walk in 2021. And we would walk our dogs by this entrance here a couple times a day, and we were just always curious. And it really just piqued our interest, and uh, we started the process to find out what exactly it was. What it was, was Chicago's Maxime's Day Pelly, Chicago's best restaurant a half century ago. This was opening night way back. You must have become obsessed, like transfixed by it, right? We were. Its namesake, you Francophiles will know, was arguably the best restaurant in the world in Paris. Those are the original Banquet booths. Adam Bilzer discovered it was shuttered and owned by the city of Chicago. For the Bilters, after red tape and a couple million bucks, it's now theirs. And it is much like it was, an old and now new private supper club. We had managed to attract a membership base that almost 70% of the members live within four blocks of right here. So they live right here. They want something walkable. They wanted a walkable dress code, private place to call their second home. It's nearly five grand to join, 300 a month in dues, and that's not including anything you consume. They've spent zero on advertising and they're near capacity. To save you the coin, we'll take you there, and you're in good company. When John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd were filming Blues Brothers, they stayed here. Audrey Hepburn, Truman Capote, The Beatles, The Rolling Stones, Frank Sinatra, of course. Um, here. Here. The couple did not. And do what a lot of restaurateurs do, which is start with a white box and try to make it feel old and cool. This actually is old and cool and has the history here. The only thing truly fresh is the fare, French, as it was intended. It's a deliciously gilded nugget. On Goethe, sounds like it's spelled. In Chicago, and Astor, the now Astor Club, in the Astor Tower on Astor Street in the Astor Street District. Named after John Jacob Astor, an East Coaster, the first multi-millionaire in the U.S. What was it like when you first came in here? When we first came in here, it was pretty eerie. The lights didn't work. It was a dust-covered city-owned basement. Remember, it was Maxime's de Paris. That was the vision of Nancy Goldberg. Nancy and her husband owned the building. Husband was Bertrand Goldberg, an audacious architect behind Marina City and more. When the Goldbergs passed, they left their beloved Maxims to their son and... He gifted it to the city of Chicago in the year 2000 for $1. And the city of Chicago named it the Nancy Goldberg International Cultural Center. What a name for a hip restaurant. <laughs> right. <laughs> President Clinton and Mayor Daley celebrated their birthdays there, but after the city took over, it eventually closed until, well, the, the builders went on those walks during COVID. The member list is secret. Correct. But there are pictures, hint, hint. Billy Zane, Titanic, Jim Belushi, of course. Incredibly honored by the member list that we have thus far. This piano is original. Here you've got signed sheet music. I left my heart in San Francisco signed by... Tony Bennett himself. <laughs> if the walls could only talk. Wait, they do. Jeff McNally um, was a political cartoonist for the Tribune for a few decades. Pulitzer Prize winner before you ever saw him in the Tribune. Here's Alderman turned inmate Fast Eddie Verdoliak and Mayor turned icon Harold Washington in a tug of war. Fighting see, for Chicago. See the blue lines here? Yeah. He had originally intended his leg to extend down there. Oh, you see yeah. that? You can see the edits before it made Chicago surely think. When they originally did it in 1963, 
that it was important for us to hold on to that original design and structure. They'll even hold on to the occasional disco night. In 1967, Chicago Omnibus Magazine's cover wondered, Disco Tech, why, why, why? That's another story. A story that proves like hidden treasure. The best to the Astor Club Cheers. Cheers. is often below. Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News. Oh. Brad looked pretty comfortable in there. Yeah, I was going to say, if I knew we were going to get an old fashioned at the end of the story, I would have gone and shot that. Right? <laughs> no, but Brad did a great job. That was like great a, history. Like yeah. a time machine, I was right. thinking. Yeah. yeah, way cool. Oops. What are you breaking over Just there? Just put that anywhere. <laughs> it shows old fashioned no. in the ground. <laughs> he brings his own. Oh, gosh.